Hello, I'm Andreas Dams, engineering consultant from Landau in central Germany. Today I'd like to show you how to carry out a safe and, equally importantly, fast pressure tightness test on a refrigeration system with the help of the Testo 570. For the pressure tightness test, I attach the instrument to a stable site close to the plant. I also need a temperature sensor which I can plug into the high pressure side of the instrument and switch the instrument on. After a short self-test phase, I can zero the pressure sensors and the instrument is ready to go. The manifold is connected to the plant via this hose and the sensor needed for the temperature compensation is attached to a suitable place. All of the manifold's valves are closed and I connect the filling hose to the bottle for later filling the system with dry nitrogen and open it. According to the specification plate on the plant, the maximum positive operating pressure is 6 bar. In order to ensure these 6 bar, I will now switch the instrument mode over to tightness test and release the pressure to the system. The test pressure corresponds to the maximum positive operating pressure, and I can now start the temperature compensated pressure tightness test. The pressure tightness test has run overnight, and we are now looking at the results. The display shows us the system pressure and the ambient temperature at the start of the test and the current value. The test lasted approximately 18 hours. Longer testing times would further increase the accuracy of the test. This identifiable slight pressure drop could indicate a leak. However, thanks to the temperature compensation, the instrument shows us a pressure drop of 0.00 bar. This means the result of the pressure drop test is positive. The temperature compensated pressure tightness test with the Testo 570 allowed me to check the tightness of this very complex system safely and reliably. This is an important prerequisite for the secure operation of this plant. 